I'm, hello, I'm Ignacio Valdez. I'm the CEO of Astronaut LLC. Uh, you can see the astronautvista.com website here. We're going to, this is an introduction to um, the astronaut client installer and session manager. Uh, this is a novel application that's uh, been developed for uh, managing sessions with uh, Astronaut Vista servers. Um, First of all, you download the client installer from um, SourceForge.net. Um, you can search for Astronaut Vista Client Installers, and um, you simply click on the link, and the download should begin. Um, so simply save the file out, and on Firefox, it will uh, download the client, and it'll appear in the download window. Uh, then you simply double-click on the uh, executable file and uh, run it. The splash screen will appear, and you accept the defaults, agree to the license. Uh, then uh, the only piece of information that you really need is the IP address of the server. Um, and we have a couple of cloud instances running, so we're going to go ahead and um, access the IP address of that server right here, and copy it into... Oops using uh, control V, control C, control V. Uh, here's a list of all the things that astronaut uh, client installer installs, including the session manager, which is brand new. These are all uh, clients, uh, client softwares that uh, can be used uh, to uh, use, use the Vista system. You just accept the default after that. Next, you have the option to uh, start the SSH tunnel now. Um, we'll show you a little bit later how to run without an SSH tunnel. And so now I st I st we've started the, the SSH tunnel. Um, it starts maximized, then you minimize it, and now it appears there. In order to stop the tunnel, you simply close the uh, close the, that session, and it will stop the SSH tunnel. So now we have astronaut installed in the astronaut clients installed in the um, astronaut group folder uh, as you can see all the all the uh, clients are installed the major one is TMG CPRS uh, we'll be showing you uninstall a little bit later but there's other other um, clients uh, that that you can use with Vista we'll be checking out the session manager today um, as you can see, the defaults, uh, the default profile already exists, and that's the one that we're running right now. Um, if you click on it, it loads all the environment variables as so. It'll bring up a window, and you can you can confirm that it has loaded the environment variables that you're expecting. And then uh, you can, at that point, start up your SSH tunnel. We'll go ahead and close this one down, um, and we'll restart it. Um, by simply going to the start menu and um, going to astronaut SSH and starting it up and there it is again it starts minimize the second time uh, it also installs uh, astronaut SSH into the startup folder so that uh, when you um, log into your ID it will start up the uh, SSH tunnel using the uh, currently uh, loaded defaults that uh, the, uh, the currently loaded uh, variables. In order to change those, you can go to a different session. You can go ahead and start a, uh, create a different session. We're going to call this one uh, Cloud One, and we're going to go ahead and grab another IP address off of this one. This is an Open Vista. This is an Astronaut Open Vista instance. Uh, this is the an astronaut 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 edition of Open Vista. This is not an official. Uh, release of the of Open Vista from the Medsphere Corporation. Um, so we put the IP address in there. Usually, you're only going to be uh, editing these two variables. However, uh, you can run without SSH, and this this uh, in session manager will support legacy um, legacy communication between clients and and a Vista instance that is without SSH tunneling. But uh, the astronaut uses SSH tunneling by default. Uh, but it can be bypassed using the session manager. Um, so now we're going to load the the profile that we just created, and it started up the uh, the uh, SSH tunnel. Um, you can just minimize that, and there's there it's the verification that the the new variables loaded. Um, and now that's the default session. 
uh, in order to um, so now now all we would have to do to in the future is simply run astronaut SSH and we will get the session managers we will get the, the session variables that we're expecting so right now we have two um, two sessions going let's we'll, uh, SSH tunnels going let's go ahead and and uh, take one down because uh, it, w it will only tolerate uh, one SSH uh, tunnel at a time. Um, so now uh, if we want to go in and edit, uh, in, now in order to change back to the defaults, we can uh, click default and there we are, the defaults are loaded and we can start another SSH tunnel um, and with the defaults that we originally started with and or we can go and select the new one and it will load the new ones and then we start that tunnel so what this does is that it allows you to reconfigure all the clients very easily and very simply and very quickly uh, so this is a this is a good great development for both users developers and educators in order to um, be able to manage your client connections with uh, with uh, multiple servers uh, not client installer also includes the option of not having the session manager at all and this is for the situation of enterprise uh, users as well as uh, as well as uh, student and educational type users where uh, the desire the ability to, ch to change sessions and to be able to, to uh, change uh, to, to the ability to have a session manager is not desired so that that's done that's accomplished very simply by um, the, doing the usual installation but then unclicking the session manager it's a module so that that's removable and you simply install it the usual way and all of the uh, programs are uh, are deselectable um, we're gonna go ahead and start the tunnel now this tunnel starts up so uh, you go to um, the client and the the clients and as you can see there is no session manager available and uh, yet the the uh, the tunnel is pre-configured and is not easily the tunnel is pre-configured and is not easily changed by end users. Once again, this is a feature that's uh, that could be useful for enterprise users, uh, educators, students, um, and, and any any situation in which having a session manager would not be desirable. Servers. Uh, the final step is that we uh, were to uninstall uh, all this. We just um, click the uninstall link. Uh, just a as so. Um, now, uh, astronaut does not delete the uh, the profiles; um, they remain there. Uh, you can delete them one by one. For for example, uh, just simply by deleting that shortcut, um, that profile is gone. Uh, however, uh, at the uninstall does not delete the sessions by default. Uh, uh, you have to manually delete them. That's in order to uh, be able to upgrade it without destroying your profiles. Client uh, variables shortcut and this brings up the uh, window system properties with the environment variables editor button right there you click on that and you can, as you can see there's the astronaut um, profile variables that you can directly edit if you really want to but it's probably better to just use the session manager to to edit these uh, but that exists there so if you really want to see what the what the variables are currently then you can and that's easily accessible through the um, astronaut sessions client variable uh, shortcut. So we hope you enjoyed this introduction to the uh, astronaut session manager. Um, again you can uh, download this from sourceforge.net. It is it is uh, AGPL licensed. Um, there's more information on the astronautvista.com uh, website. Thanks so much.